God, we bless you right now. And you're worthy to be praised. Come on, let's praise the Lord all over this sanctuary. If you know he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Been through the fire. I've been through the fire. Yeah. I've been through the fire. Come on, sing that with me. Simple phrase. We got it. We got it. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire. Hallelujah. I've been through the fire, but I got out. If you know it, come on, wave your hands with me. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire. I've been. you right now one more time. I've been through the fire. 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 Oh, I've been through the fire. Yeah, yeah. I got out. I got out. Oh, God, we love you. Hallelujah. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire. But I got out. Hallelujah. Let's say it again. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. I've been through the fire, but I've got out. We bless your name. I've been through the fire, but I've got out. No matter what you're going through, God's going to make a way for you. Soon you're going to say, I got out. Come on, I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire, but I got out. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire, but I got out. What you're going no what you're going through, God's gonna God make, gonna make way. Way for you. Soon you're gonna Soon say, gonna say I got out. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire, but I got out. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire, but I got out. No matter what you're going no matter through, what you're going through, God's gonna, gonna make, make a way. way for you. Soon you're gonna say, I got out. I've had heart ache and pain. I've had heart ache and pain. Heartache and, pain. Had heartache and pain, but I got out. No matter what you're going, no matter what you're going, God's through, gonna, God make gonna make a way. Hallelujah! Soon you're gonna say, I got out. Yeah, I've had heartache and I've pain. I've had heartache and pain, but I got out. I've had heartache and pain. I've had heartache and pain, but I got out. No matter what you're going, no what through, you're going through, God's gonna make, make a way. way. Hallelujah! Soon you're gonna say. Oh, I got out. I got out. I got out. Heartache and pain. I got out. 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 Yes, I got out. I got out. Hallelujah. I got out. I got out. I got out. God brought me through. I got out. And He'll do it for you. I got out. 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 Heartache and pain. I got out. I got out. Oh, I got out. 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 On the Monday. On the Tuesday. On the Wednesday. On the Thursday. On the Friday. On the Saturday. Got out. I got out. Hallelujah. I got out. Hallelujah. I got out. Got out. Got out. Got out. No matter what you're going through. God's gonna make a way. Soon you're gonna say, I got out. I got out. I got out. I got out. Hallelujah. I got out. I got out. I got out. Come on and clap your hand. If you've gotten out, come on and clap your hand. If you got out, Hallelujah. I got out. I got out. I got out. I got out. Through the 
storm, through the rain, through sickness, through pain. I got up. Let's give God some praise right there. Come on. Take a praise break right there. Hallelujah. How many people have gotten out of situations that you've been in? If you've really got out, just shout, I got out. Let me hear you. I got out. Come on. Oh, I got out. 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 out. Every second of the minute. Every minute of the hour. Every hour of the day. Every day of the week. Every week. The month, every month of the year, I got out, got out, got out, I got out, hallelujah, I got out, I got out, no matter what you're going through, hallelujah, no matter what you're going through, hallelujah, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're going through, I'm gonna make no way, soon you're gonna say, I got out, hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless you right now. We honor you right now, God, because you are the Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. You are the great I am. Mighty, mighty. 
Come on, give him praise if you know that he is the Lion of Judah. The Lord is high above the heavens. We bless your name right now, God. Jesus, it will get better.
bless you right now. God, you're worthy to be praised. Here we go. People come. People come. People go. Your life has been out of control. You're confused. Don't worry yourself. It will get. 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 Hallelujah. It will get better. Hallelujah. People come. People go. Your life has been out of control. You're confused. Don't worry your soul. It will get It will get better. Hallelujah. It will get better. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what you're going, it will get better. Hallelujah. Find your place. Within your heart, hold it close. Don't ever depart. It gets cold, but you'll be all right. It will get Hallelujah. It will get. I promise it will. No matter what you're going through, it will get Hallelujah. It will get better. Find your, place Find your place within your heart. Within your heart. Hold, it close. Hold it close. Don't ever pop. It gets cold. But you'll be but all right. Be all right. It, it will get, get better. Hallelujah. It will get better. Hallelujah. It will get better. Will will get get better. better. I promise it will better. get better. It will, will get better. Hallelujah. One more time. People come. People go. Your life has been out of control. You're confused. Don't worry your soul. It will get better. Hallelujah. I promise it will. No matter what you're going through, it will get better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, no matter what you're going through, no matter the circumstance or situation you may be going through right now, all you have to do is cast your cares upon the Lord. The Bible says he cares for us, and I want you to know it will get better. Why don't you tell a neighbor, it will get better. It will get better. It will get better. It will get better. Will get better. Tell a neighbor, it will get better. It will get better. It will get better. Here we go. Oh, it will get better. I promise it will. I'm telling you it will. Just cast your care upon the Lord. Hallelujah. It will get better. God, we glorify you for better. It will get better. Hallelujah. It will get better. Hallelujah. It will get better. I promise you it will. Here we go. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we need you to breathe right now, God, in everything that we do. You are the air we breathe. Hallelujah. Honey. 
need you to breathe. I need you to breathe. You are the air I breathe. I need you to breathe. I need you to breathe. You are the air I breathe. You heal. You say.
Raise your hands unto the Lord. Let's say it again with uplifted voices. These hands. These hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll pray. We'll pray. I live to worship you. To worship you. Listen, let's all say it together on one accord with no music. These hands, here we go. These hands. Just to kick drum. I raise. Come on, you can read it on the screen. This voice. We'll praise. We'll praise. I live. I live. To worship you. To worship. Hallelujah. Worship you. Let's do it one more time. Everybody on one accord. These hands. These hands. This voice, this voice we'll, pray. we'll pray. I live, I live to work. Here we go. Jump you. Oh, come on, give God some praise if you know He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And He's a God that will break every chain in our lives. Hallelujah. We bless you. Everybody stand at your feet. We're getting ready to break some chains. It's all in Jesus' name. Come on, church. I need someone to help me pray. I need someone to help me pray. Oh, 
I, I, oh, I'm going to call some things. And then we come to break this morning. Break every Break every Break every I come to, to break coke this morning. Blow, rock, crack, snow, sniff, sneeze, white, nose candy, Bernice. I come to break the line, the dust, the freight. I come to break the Addies this morning, the uppers, the beans. I come to break the black beauties this morning, the pet pills, the speed, the Z. I come to break crystal meth. Tina, I come to break crack. I come to break Christy. I come to break grass. I come to break the ice, I come to break coal, I come to break the chalk. I come to break XE. I come to break to break this morning the XTC Molly's rolls and hugs and hugs drugs and love drugs and, and lovers and speed. I come to break beans this morning. I come to break Adam. Clarity, I come to break moon rocks, happy pills, dancing and shoes. I come to break snacks and candy. I come to break ancient. I come to break smacks, dope, white, china white, and horse and snag, and I come to break junk, and I come to break, break the black tar, I come to break the big H, the brown sugar, the mud, the dragon, I come to break the boy, the thunder, I come to break the spice, I come to break the 2K, the 2K jug, and the 3K drug, the blicks, I come to break the, uh, the skunk, the, uh, the, you know, the genie, I come to break the joker, I come to break the vice. I come to break every one of the drugs, the sniff, the scratch. I come to break the ignorant bills, the tabs. I come to break oh, with every one of the Xenixes and the bars and the Z bars. And I come to break every one of the, of the pranks and the bricks. I come to break the blues and the footballs and the up johns and the, the school bus and the bus parts and the yellow boys and the white boys and the white girls. I come to break every one of the, uh, the angel dust, the ozone. I come to break every one of the rock fuels. I come to break love boat and bomb him. I come to break the, the hog. I come to break the super weed. I come to break the whack. I come to break the wet marijuana. I come to break the K. I come to break the special K. I come to speak, uh, uh, you know, to break the vitamin K, the green K, the super seed, the acid, super acid. I come to break the coke. I come to break the jet, the purple. I come to break the Kit Kat. I come to break the honey oil. I come to break acid. L, I come to break Lucy, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I come to break the tabs, the dose. I come to break the California shine. I come to break the yellow uh, sunshine, you know, the window pane, the, the, uh, the, the, bas uh, the, the battery acid. I come to break uh, you know, your Superman. I come to break weed, pot, hash and hash and green and bud and grass. Trees and reefer and herbs and Mary Jane. I come to break the dope. I come to break every one of the chains that's holding our children and our family. I come to break the magic mushrooms. I come to break uh, you know, the, you know, the rumors of caps. I come to break every one of the blue beanies and, 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 and the capital caps. I come to break oxy, oxy punk. I come to break the oxy eights, the blues, and the five twelves. I come to break every one of the hillbilly. The hillbilly, the kicker hillbillies. I come to break Drake, the drug this morning. I need somebody in this building to help me. I need somebody in this building to help me. I need somebody in this building to help me. We cannot break this without you. Come on, church. Come on, church. There's people that's watching this morning that needs to be broke. There's people in this building this morning that needs a chain to be broken. Chains. Come on, church. Come on, church. Yes, I come. Chains falling. Oh, yes. If you have a loved one that's bound with drugs, you have a loved one that's dealing with drugs. Chains falling. I want you to begin to break those chains. Break. Break, 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 come on, I want you to break it the way it broke them, break, break, oh, chain,
I need you, Jesus. There is power I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Oh, Holy One. I need you, Jesus. I want somebody to shout freedom. Come on, somebody shout freedom. No, somebody shout freedom. Shout freedom. I have a word from God that says freedom can be in this house. He that hungereth and thirsts shall be filled. He that hungereth and thirsts he that hungered and thirst. He that hungered and thirst. You can't get it by yourself. There's no addiction you can break by yourself. There's no spirit that you can break by yourself. You have to have God. You may be seated because we're getting ready to go into the devil's playhouse. Oh whenever I begin to read some of these names that we don't know what it means when they say somebody bring me a Kit Kat we think it's a candy bar when somebody say bring me some chalk we think we're going to ride on the sidewalk or ride on the wall somebody say bring me a window pane Something must be broken. We begin to say, bring me some special K. We want some cereal. I don't know all of this, Brother Mike. The devil give it name. Somebody need to hear me. The devil give it a name. But I want to tell the devil right up front. There is a name. That is above every one of these names. Hey! There is a name that is above every one of these names. There is a name that is above every one of these names. At the name Jesus, drug addicts has to be healed. Drugs has to be broken. At the name Jesus, alcohol has to be delivered. At the name, well, Pastor, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't struggle. That's why you need to be in this service. If you don't have the struggle, that's why you need to be in this service somebody else has and right up front I ain't looking down at nobody by the grace of God it could have been me I wasn't in a car wreck that I got hung on drugs not intentionally how did people get hung not intentionally it happens so I'm going to just tell the devil it is intentional for me to help them get off it is it is intentional for me not to criticize and condemn but to love them because we too could be right where they are I'm going to do something this morning just to make the devil mad because the devil say, well, they get off, they won't stay off. I'm going to tell the devil, if you set free for one day, that's one, for, that's one day the devil didn't have you. If it was one day you've been said, I need to see some hands this morning and say, Pastor, God has set me free from alcohol. I want to see your hand. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Come on, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. If you don't put that devil under your feet, you say, Pastor, the devil set me free from drugs. I want you to stand on your feet. Come on. Don't be afraid. If you don't, if you ain't a, if you don't tell it, go ahead, son. Stand up. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. If you ain't a, if you don't fight that devil, put that devil under your feet, the devil will come back and haunt you. Now make one more step. I need you down here and I need you to come in a hurry. I don't want to see nobody sit down. I'll call you out. Hallelujah, all the way back in the back, up in the balcony, everywhere, make your way down here. I done see some of y'all bashful. You done sitting down, but go ahead and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need everybody to come up and turn towards the crowd. I need the people to put a face. I need people to put a face to this. Oh, there's still somebody else need to get on down here. There's a DNA that you're breaking. There's a DNA you're breaking. 
I said this this morning in early worship. There's a DNA that you, you can break. My grandfather was an alcoholic. He owned a big nightclub, destroyed many lives. But I broke that. I broke that. And if y'all can just scatter out just a little bit, that way there's double and there's, there's single, and that way when I walk in front of you. Huh? You know what's that for? It's a line that you're supposed to be in. He just now walked in. It's for people, you know, Brother Mike, I'll start with you. It's for people that was on drugs and alcohol. Yes, I was on drugs for about 20 years. God healed me 10 years ago. So you're 10 years free? I'm 10 years free. 10 years free? 10 years free. Thank you. Thank be to God. Yo, so if God can do it for you, he can do it for... Oh, I know he could, Pastor. He, yeah. If he did it for me, I thought he couldn't even do it myself, but he did it. Now, some of you say, I didn't know Brother Roger, nice-looking man he is, and Pastor's support team was a druggie. Well, don't look down. Look up to him. He whooped it. Yep. God healed me 11 years ago, three weeks after I started coming to the church from cocaine. And how much coke a week? Uh, I don't know, probably three or four hundred dollars worth. And you don't think God can? Alcohol and drugs, 12 years. 12 years. 20 years. How much? 20 years. 20, uh, and what kind of drug? Alcohol. Craig. Alcohol, you didn't care? marijuana, you name it, I've done a pill. I got eight years going on nine. Ten years. You what kind of drugs? Heroin. Heroin. One year clean. Drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol. Love you, man. One year. He, he's a hero. You don't get to ten years until you get to one. <laughs> December 604, alcohol. struggle is real. Yes, it is. Um, what I mean is you have to be truthful with yourself. Like, um, what I deal with is an everyday struggle. Like, I done been with uh, you name it. You know what I'm saying? All those names I named, but God delivered you. What I mean is the truth shall set you free. That's it. Um, like people be going through so many things, they look at me like, oh, he's perfect. I'm far from it. I know, but you're delivered. Uh -huh. Excuse me, but you're delivered. I celebrated 24. I've lost count. It's a good problem to have. Still about 24, 25 years since last August 22nd. Of alcohol, drugs, cocaine, crack. I went from a drug user to a drug abuser drug dealer. I was wrapped up with the Columbia cartel, the Mexican cartel, to the tunnels, the Latin kings. I was a go-to man. I'd made things happen that shouldn't happen. I was over millions of dollars of drugs. Lord. Lord put his hands on me, people. He's real. He said, have you done it for you? He's real. He did it for me. I didn't understand why he chose somebody like me. But my daughter was raped for two years by her mother's boyfriend. I didn't know until that day she told me in the middle of a church service. And I couldn't feel him no more. This is something I can't put a band-aid on for my daughter. She's got so much anger inside of her, Pastor. But God can heal. I know he can. I can't put a band-aid on it. I put God on it. That's it. But he took it completely away. He stripped me. I'm telling y'all, he stripped me down. On March 3rd, 2013, I had spent no alcohol, no drugs in my life, but that day he gave me a, the greatest hit I've ever had. I'm glad I'm free today. He gave me salvation. Amen. I knew where he was going with that. Just so happens that eight years ago this month, God took away alcoholism from me. And there's something I want to tell everybody here. And I say that humbly because it's only eight years and one day after tomorrow. Okay. 
But there's something I want to let everybody know. When I was sitting in one of those meetings and they told me that it was a disease, I got excited because the blood of Jesus covers all diseases. Alcohol. Crack and um, meth. Cleared me. Yeah, but you're free. Amen. Right. And I'm standing in the gap for my son who's on drugs. Well, Mama, if God done it for you, that's what today's Amen. about. You'll do it. Crack cocaine, 10 years. Powder cocaine and marijuana. How long? Over 20 years. Alcohol and prescription pain medication. Light it daily. See, you know, this young man fell... You know, you, know, you know, these are some tree climbers down here. They, he understands. 58 feet fell. 57. 57 feet fell on his neck, his back, broke his neck and his back. We ain't supposed to ever walk again. You know, who said that? It didn't tell you the truth. Because by the stripes of Christ, you were healed. Amen. When they called me into the hospital, they said you, were, you weren't going to make it. But I remember your granny, and there's some promises that God promised your granny that ain't happened yet. That's why I knew you was going to make it, because God's word cannot fail. Amen, amen. Uh, alcohol and marijuana over 34 years. 34 years. Alcohol, um, heroin, prostitution, um, 30 years. Cocaine for about four years, and I've been free from marijuana for about two months. Drugs for five months, 27 days. I like it when they know the time. Crack cocaine, 11 years. 13 years, marijuana, cocaine, and crack. Heroin, 36 days. Oh, I, I like it when they like 16 it. years, crack cocaine. One year, straight from alcohol. Two years, alcohol. Other brother Dog ran with me for 32 years. I had been with this for just back in that 2010. And but I fell down and I got back up when God healed me and straightened me back out again. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> brother Steve, I'd like to let the people know this morning that you can be delivered and you can be happy delivered. I've been delivered from alcohol for 52 years now. 52 years. I wouldn't go back to that hog slop for nothing in the world. Praise the Lord. I was addicted to alcohol when I was a small child because that was our medicine back then. And I drank, and when they started putting wild turkey in the liter bottle, somebody said, what's a liter? I said, I don't know. I got about six ounces left over. I drink it for breakfast. But God delivered me from it. But occasionally I'd have to run get a drink, and Pastor Jimmy knew it. I didn't come to church with liquor on my breath. But he knew and he said something to me, and I ain't touched it since. I was delivered from cigarettes and alcohol in Pastor Jimmy's ministry. Yes. That was in 1997. Alcohol, a year and seven months. A year and seven months. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I said for 10 years, and where it happened was, I slipped back and started drinking the wine cooler. But it's been three years, and I thank you, Jesus, just like you said, the hall pen. I don't criticize nobody, but thank you, Lord Jesus. I feel so good when I wake up in the morning. Yes, oh, and some you. of you watching my Internet, I, I need you to testify. I need you to put how long you've been free. Ten years alcohol. Uh, 30 years, God delivered me from drinking beer, smoking reefer, and he saved my soul, shaking up. You just got to be real because God is a That's good it. God. And I thank him for saving. Thank God for my mamas. And grandmama saw me the way. Yes. Over 50 years, alcohol and cigarettes. I got four words to say, get right with God. It's been 21 years, crack cocaine, but I relapsed and started a new toy. And I started doing coke. I've been clean for two years since I've been coming to this church. Oh, I just love it. I've been in addiction for 30 years, and um, God delivered me from something else. Six months. 
drugs 12 years. 12 years. I just want to tell you all how good God is. When I, I was loaded on drugs, I was hooked on drugs and alcohol. They put me into the rehab. And guess what they put me at? Well, the Christian people was around me. And God set it up for me so I can be around those people that were talking about the love of God. And you're free? And I'm free. I want to testify for my daughter. She was on drugs and alcohol for, oh, Lord, about 20-some years. She kept coming here. Pastor kept praying for her. She hit the floor, get up, and go back out in the world. But I thank God now she's completely healed. She lives in Savannah, Georgia. She's married. She's in church and got three cars. I've been free of alcohol for a whole year. Oh, I, I wish somebody would give all of these a hand clap. Oh, give them a hand. I wish you would stand at your feet and give them a hand clap as they go back to their seat. Oh, come on. Somebody need to rejoice with them. Because before this day is over with, God's going to do something else in your life. Somebody say, in my house. I thank God for a church like this. You may be seated. I thank God for a church like this. I thank God. I love every one of those folks up here. They're my heroes. They are the reason that I preach. They're the reason I fast and I pray. There's a reason why. Perfect, perfect folks don't need me. Our God or the church. Messed up folks need God. Messed up folks need God. He said, I didn't come to save those which were lost. Or was Nine one one. Where is your emergency? Hi, uh, yes, my fiance just there overdosed. There is a gentleman passed out on the Heroin second floor. is so addictive. And he passed out in their room. So dangerous. What did he take? So deadly. Um, it's heroin. It has become one of the worst drug epidemics in Virginia history. How old is the patient? Heroin doesn't care what background you have or where you came from. 34, 35. Yeah, I don't think he's breathing. Heroin doesn't care what your skin color is, how smart you are. He took what? How old you are, whether you're male or female. Heroin and Xanax. Now I approach this moment, this coldness takes over, takes control to cope and it's dormant. Heroin overdose deaths in Virginia nearly doubled from 2011 to 2013. Every region has experienced an increase in heroin fatality. The sickness is too much for me to handle my stomach is to inflict this including a 164% increase in Northern Virginia, a 94% increase in Hampton Roads, and a 50% increase in the Richmond Metro. Addicts often don't know what's mixed into the heroin they get from dealers, but McCutcheon believes that most recent dose contained the powerful opioid carfentanil. Carfentanil is so deadly, it's not even prescribed for humans. It's typically used to tranquilize large animals like elephants. It's 100 times more potent than the similar drug prescribed for humans, fentanyl, and 10,000 times more potent than morphine. But carfentanil abuse is spreading, and authorities say at least 30 people have died from these overdoses in the Akron area since the July 4th weekend. When we discuss drug problems, we're likely thinking of recreational substances, illicit drugs, and criminal underworlds. However, in 2016, America finds itself suffering from an epidemic caused by prescription drugs. The number of people routinely using opioids, antidepressants, and other pharmacy-bought products has steadily risen in recent years, creating a generation hooked on legal, accessible drugs. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the amount of prescription opioids sold in the U.S. has almost quadrupled since 1999, and the amount of deaths caused by them has also increased fourfold.
just yesterday, First Lady and I was riding down the street, and some young lady, nice-looking young lady, just beating the air, strung out. She calls me a little bit later and says, Pastor, I'm riding down this street over here, and this other person is out, strung out in the middle of the road. What do we do? How do we stop addictions? Who's at fault? We can blame everybody. We can blame the doctor for prescribing. We can, can blame the person for taking it. We can blame the person for this one and that one, but we have to go back to the root of the problem. What are they missing? They're missing something. They're trying to find something else. So it's called addiction. Go with me into the Word of God. I'm going to deal with addictions. Now, when we use the word addiction this morning, we do not only use the word addiction. We don't only use the word addiction only because of the fact that a person is on drugs. We heard them up here saying, I was healed. I've been delivered from drugs, from alcohol. One of the great addictions of America that is called the solid addiction is porno oh I know I probably shouldn't go there this morning in the house of God we shouldn't talk nasty like that and but hear what James said in verse James chapter 1 verse 13 let no man think when he is tempted I am tempted of God because God don't tempt any man with evil somebody said it's just flesh what's wrong looking is something hold on a second but but every man is tempted and when he's away with his lust and enticed and when uh, lust has conceived it brings forth sin and sin when it's finished it brings forth death so how big is this pornograph how big is the business the business of porno just this year alone already for this 14 billion dollars will be spent on porno just in America 54 or 58 billion dollars around the world the average church member and the average America thinks it's okay 60 percent thinks it's okay for us to look at something as long as we don't touch it but James said when we are drawn away and we begin to look at that it brings death it brings death to a, a, you know, to, a you know, to a marriage it brings death to a, a you know, to a relationship. Uh, there is more money spent on porno. Y'all ready for this one here? All, more, all money more than all the you know, NFL, all of the book, football, basketball, and all of the golf put together. There is more money spent in America uh, which own porno. In every 30 seconds, uh, which in every single second, over, th over th almost 400 people uh, you know, type on the internet something to do with adults. Uh, something to do with nudity something every I'm talking about every single second every single second every single second in America alone there's almost thirty two hundred dollars spent every single second over 59 percent of Americas believe it's okay 41 percent of Americas and church folks believe and have even said that I have looked at porno when I knew I shouldn't uh, and then and you know so then we get hooked up with it. who who's that wrong who's that wrong I, I tell you what's wrong man you will look at this and then you will look at your wife but the, uh, the person you're looking at is not really a person when you open up that book and, and that magazine and you look at that photos they are all photos painted they all painted they're, they're none of them perfect just like that and when you see all of the, the vulgar that goes on uh, on the screen you think all of that you just hope that girl don't get around any fire because she'll melt because she ain't real she ain't real and when you get to the place in your life that's why you need to fight find yourself a good husband and a good wife and say I'm going to love them I, I just thank God I ended up with a beautiful one Holly, I ended up with a great one Holly, but if she ain't it, Holly, because you start looking at that stuff you start comparing your wife to what's there and then it gets in your mind and it destroys it and the devil wants to destroy your family it gets into your family now in that, now the kids are, you know, now the kids are saying hey let me take you a picture and let me send I, I, I want to talk to the teenagers over here let me send a picture send me one of those good pictures oh I, I don't need to talk to teenagers I need to talk to adults I, I need to talk to some single women I, I need to talk to some single men and begin to say send me one of those oh I don't want one of your face you know you know what they want one of and I want to warn you ahead of time that picture once it hits the web I, will be out in eternity as long as you live and you can't get it back I, I don't care how many times you fall in love with somebody 
else, that picture will always be out there to haunt you. Why? You begin to let that destroy you. Job said in Job 31 and 1, he said, why make a covenant with my eyes? And why then should I look upon my maid? Why should I look upon it? I made a solemn pact with myself never to undress my uh, uh, undress a girl in front of my eyes. This is what the message Bible says. He said, I made a covenant to never undress uh, with my eyes a girl uh, and look upon the virgin this way. I, I made in my mind I'm never going to do this. Uh, so pornograph, it begins to be a lie and it begins to be destroy us. Uh, so who are the victims? Uh, our children are the victims. Our family, our relationships. Matthew 5 and verse 27 says, Have they not been heard and said at times of old, Thou shalt not commit adultery? Hello, look at this one here. But I say to that, Whosoever looked upon a woman lusted that to her, hath committed adultery already in his heart. The word porno means to explore, uh, it means to expose, it means to have a sexual, uh, what's a sexual harassment. So therefore, when girls begin to say, I'm going to do it and I'll do, nobody knows about it, I'll make him love me. I'll tell you what to make him love you, lady. I'll tell you what to make him love you, single mom and married woman. I'll tell you what to make him love you. It's for you to be a living, holy, sacrifice, holy before God. And that one, he knows that you ain't going to send no picture to you. Him, you ain't going to send one to somebody else. He learns to trust you, so we need to deal with the porno. I know that's the and yeah, that's the lighter part to, of today, but I had to throw it in there. How I have to deal with the, 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 the addiction of lying because the Bible tells us that it's a sin to lie, but now today that we're living in, it's, it, it's now a addiction. It's addiction that people can't help, but they'll just lie. They'll lie about things that don't even matter. <laughs> you know, they'll tell something that don't even, it don't, it don't get them in trouble, don't keep them out of trouble. They're just going to exaggerate. We need to be truthful in everything that we've done. Now, go with me to the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse to number 29. One of the main reasons that I'm here, I want to see people delivered off of alcohol, off of drugs. And I want to see people delivered out of rebellion. Hear what he said, uh, which in, in verse 29, he said, who has woes, question mark? Who has sorrows, question mark? Who has contention or who has got problems in your house? Who has Babylon? Who is it? Uh, uh, who has wounds without a cause? Who has redness of the eyes? And yeah, I'm, I'm talking to some of you already know where I'm going. They that tarry too long at the wine, that they go down to seek mixed wines. Look not upon the wine when it is red, when it colors in the cup, when it moves itself all right. At last it biteth like a serpent, it stingers like an adder. The eyes shall behold the strange women. See, drunk folks and people who drink don't realize what they're doing. Their hearts shall alter perverse things. When you get drunk, you'll say crazy things. You get... To, I've been around you know, drunk folks. I had had somebody come up here the other night, and, and he was going to disrupt the service, and I was there. I was very kind with him, and he was very vulgar to me and very nasty to me, but I just stood there, and I, Pastor Sissy, my daughter, said, don't talk to my daddy. I said, baby, I got it. I got it. Why? Because it's alcohol that's talking. To, the drugs begin to talk. And, and it says in you know, verse 33, the eye shall behold a strange woman. See, whenever you begin to drink, you don't think right. And thy heart shall alter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be he that lies down in the midst of the sea and, or, or as he that uh, lies on the top of the mass they have been stricken me they shall say I uh, and I was not sick and I and they have beaten me I have felt it not and I shall awaken and I shall seek after it again and drugs and alcohol does the same way it, it begins to make you want more and more you can't just all of these up here to tell you I, I wanted to stop and I, I said today this is my last one I'm not doing another one and some Something happened and I fall right back into it. Uh, you know, statistics says over 55% of all highway accident deaths are, 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 are in result to drugs and alcohol. Over 17 to 19 million people are alcoholics today. Uh, today there's over $50 billion. Y'all want to hear that? $50 billion that is being spent on alcohol. And he said, I looked at it and it wasn't enough. I wanted some more. How He said, when I looked at the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the wine, it was red. It brought sorrow to me. It broke my heart. Hey, Times Magazine said over 60% of the people in America that 
are murdered is murdered because of drugs and alcohol. It causes you to have the, uh, you know, the babbling and you just run your mouth and you're crazy. Uh, 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 you know, which over 200,000 people in, in the year 2004, you know it's be more than this now, die every year because of automobile accidents, because of alcohol. We talked about the Hilter, uh, uh, which in the Halter cast, uh, you know, you know, that he killed 6 million people in the last 10 years. They have been 8 million people that's died because of alcohol. And whenever you drink the alcohol, what happens? You begin to vomit. You begin to throw up. You begin to puke your head off. Why? Because it's a toxic to the body. That's why they call it intoxicated because you are intoxicated. You are drinking it. Immediately, it causes you to stagger to one side to another. It begins to be addiction. And Scripture says, I want it and I want it again. I, I got to have the first drink and I, I, I got to have another drink. And Proverbs 20 and 1 says, whoever said to see this is not wise. And Proverbs 23 and 20, be not among the wine bibbers, among the righteous eaters of the flesh. Alcohol, how he is a substitute for the spirit filled person that God wants you to be filled with the spirit of God in your mind. And so therefore, we're looking for something that makes us happy and feel good. So therefore, we find us a bottle and say, give me just one more drink. It'll get rid of my problems. No, it don't. It adds fuel to your problems and your goal. All of a sudden, you begin to be destructive and your morale goes low. And now you begin to take drugs and you start with alcohol and you end up with drugs. And how do you start with marijuana and now it gets a little bit more and more. But whoa, who has sorrow? Who has sorrow? The one that hung around a little longer than he should have at the wine bottle. He has to strive. He says in the book of Proverbs 23 and 21, the drunker and the gutter shall be poverty. People who get wild and drunk, you see them on the street. They lose everything. 80% of all offenders that go to jail, which are abuser of drug and alcohol, y'all need to hear this. So over 50% of them that go into our jailhouse, they have addiction problems. And they pause, 60% of which of them, they will test positive for drugs and alcohol. I want you to hear this a statistic. It'll blow your mind. The worst year ever for murder in America was 39,000 people in the year 1993. 39,000 people were, were murdered in that year. The worst year for car cat. Uh, crashes was 1972 before they put all the safety stuff on it with 53,000 uh, you know, which all together that's 92,000 people that died that year. This year in 2017 they will be over 100,000 people that will die of overdose in America. Y'all need to wake up church. What can we do about it? We can pray. That's what we can do. It begins to be serious uh, uh, deceptive in our mind and our spirit. We begin to say it's okay but he said, well, Solomon said, when I take a drink, I do some drugs. I wake up and I want some more. He begins to be a cruel master that makes me and it drives me from one place to another. How do every time, y'all need to hear this, every time, every time you find in the scripture, it said, thou will not inherit the kingdom of God. You will also find drunkards in that verse. Hear what he said in 1 Corinthians. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Oh, I know some of y'all done got upset at me. You done shut me off and turn me off. Now, don't get upset at the word. If you get mad at somebody, don't get mad. Uh, 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 we get mad at Paul. Uh, Paul was under the inspiration of the power of the Holy Ghost when he wrote this. Uh, he said, be not deceived, neither fornicators. We all say, amen. Adulterers or, 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 or adulterers or abusers of themselves with mankind. Neither thieves or covenants, nor drunkards, uh, revivers or exhorters shall inherit the kingdom of God. Then he said in verse number 11, I love it. As such of you were, uh, but you are washed but you are sanctified and you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the spirit of our God he said just like we were we were that and we done this I could stand here saying I never had no drugs I never done I never had a swallow of alcohol but I was on my way to hell until I said yes to Jesus Christ not being free from drugs and alcohol will save you but being free from sin and covered with the blood of Jesus Christ that is what saves you and then we begin to do something that hurts our family 
It, it, it breaks my heart when I go to the hospital and there's a car wreck and, and somebody was drinking and driving their little kids and <laughs> my daddy they hear the doctor say he ain't gonna make it it breaks my heart when you know, somebody's strung out on drugs and they're overdosing and I'm going to the hospital and here the family has to sit there and other people are looking at them family church listen to me we are hurting our families we don't need to be so selfish about oh, I'm gonna get real this morning you may never come back you may not love me no more you may say pastor I'm not getting one of those envelopes from last week and, and I'm not giving you a pastor's appreciation. That's fine. Keep your money. I'm not going to pay my tithe anymore. That's fine. Keep your money. There's somebody that wants to see somebody set free. There's people in this building that love you. We don't love you for your money. We love you for your soul. We want to see you born again and washed with the blood of Jesus Christ. We pass it down. When I was a kid coming up, I used to say, I hear my mom and daddy say, he's just like his daddy. Oh, get real. Gets real just like his daddy. Oh no, I hear people tell me, the older you get, the more you walk like your daddy. You preach like, oh, yo, yo, so you one of those over there saying that? More of you, you shuffle your feet like your daddy. You drag your feet like your daddy. You preach like your daddy. Come on, give me some more compliments. Give me some more compliments. The older you get, the more you want to see people's lives change. Give me some more compliments. Now, also, we need to look at the other side. Hear what Ezekiel 16 and 40 says. As is the mother, so is her daughter. As is her mother, so is her daughter. Wickedness in 1 Samuel chapter 24 and 13 proceeded from wickedness. Seed planted inside of there. Second Chronicles 30 and 7 said, And be not therefore like the fathers, like your brothers, which transgress against your, the, the God your fathers. Psalm 78 and 8 says, or, or, or he said, don't be like your fathers, a stubborn and rebellious people. Psalm 78 and 57, but turn back and dealt with unfaithfulness like their fathers. And Numbers 14 and 18 says it will be passed down to the third and the fourth generation. Our sins will be exposed to our children. Why do I preach? My daddy preached. Why do I live holy? My mama and my daddy lived holy. Why do I do what I do because of this? The Bible says this, and, and we have to understand, we pass it down. Why is it that when you go to a doctor, and the doctor will ask you, can you tell me a little something about your mama? Can you tell me if there's anybody in your family had any high blood pressure? Can you tell me if there's anybody in your family had cancer? Can you, why? Even the medical doctors know we pass something down to our children. This is DNA, what they're looking for. What I'm looking for is something spiritual. We pass it down to our children. So we sit here and say, it ain't hurting nobody but me. Wrong. It's hurting your family. It's hurting the ones that God give you, produce unto you. And he said in, in Ezekiel 18 and 19, he said, Why does not the son bear the iniquities of the father? And when the son has done that which is lawful and right and has, not, and has kept all the, uh, the statutes, and he shall surely die. But the soul of him that sinneth shall surely die. When we look around and we see the drugs and alcohol that is struggling, mothers, women that have trouble with their husbands, your mama had trouble with hers. Your mama didn't know how to be a mama or a wife. So therefore, you don't know how to be a wife or a mama as well. Because they taught you how to fuss and taught you how to cuss. My kids has never seen First Lady and I out in the street. They've never seen us. We begin to learn the traits of our father. Y'all hear this one here. Abraham, he got to the place and he said, when we get up yonder, you so fine looking girl. Tell him that you're my sister. Then all of a sudden Isaac come back, his son, come back and says, when we get around there, I want you to tell him that you're my sister. Why? I don't want them to kill you. Father like son. Son like father. Now here comes Jacob. Now Jacob didn't talk about the sister, but he did go in and said, I want you to go tell him I'm Esau. We told him the lie. But thank God, here comes a Joseph. 
Joseph began to say, I'm going to break this cycle. I'm going to break this spirit. Joseph was done wrong, but he thrown into the prison, but he kept his integrity. Thrown into the prisons, loved the family that hated him. He began to say, I'm going to help those. and I'm not going to be like my daddy, my grandpa, or my great-grandpa. I'm going to break every one of those traits that's on my family. I'm going to love them. Why? Because God was with Joseph, and God looked at Joseph, and Joseph began to do the right thing. We have the attitude of we can break it or we can live with it. If we don't deal with it today, it's going to destroy our families. It's going to, if we don't deal with this drug issue, it's going to, oh, if the government, hey, I want you to hear this. They are $1 billion spent in America on drugs and alcohol. Over, or, 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 which, which only on drugs is $50 billion. $150, $150 billion with a B every single year that is spent on illegal drugs and alcohol and our government is only spending 40 billion dollars to try to stop it but it takes more than money to stop this thing it takes the blood of Jesus it takes the blood of Jesus and if we don't stop it it's going to destroy us y'all remember in the book of Genesis chapter 9 that Noah was a husbandman and Noah how they begin to drink of wine and the Bible said that Noah's family come in and which uh, uh, in Ham and said let me uncover my father's neck in this why he was drunk if he had not been drunk or if he had not been influenced he would have never allowed it to happen and, and then we can find and Lot come by. Y'all remember Lot? Uh, how they, that, you know, that God just, I'm just destroying Solomon and Gamar. And, and Lot's wife turned back and looked. And all of a sudden, they was no, there was nobody else. And you, you went to Lot's daughter said, let's get daddy drunk. Let's have sex with daddy. Incest. Let's have sex with daddy. Why? Because he was drunk. When people do drugs and they do alcohol, they don't realize what they're doing. Drunk people say, I didn't do that. People with drugs, I didn't do that. They don't, re- honestly, they don't remember it. Why? It messes in. And as my study this week, it said drugs messes with the brain. It messes with the thinking. It messes with the understanding. Well, Pastor, you're very hard on drug addictions. I'm hard on the drug addiction, but I love the addicted. I love those that has been addicted to drugs. I I love you with every ounce that is in my body. I I love you with everything there is within me. With my heart breaking this morning, seeing how drugs is destroying lives. We need to come together. If we be the, oh, y'all need to hear what first lady, I woke her up this morning about 4.30 and I got her up. I was was figuring around trying to find something to write with it. I said, she said, what you doing, honey? I said, I'm trying to get my pen. I write something because God spoke something in my heart. And, 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 was, and I got to write it down. I got to write it down. And, and I said, God, I was, in, I was laying and I was praying. I said, God, why don't you command? Y'all need to hear me. Y'all need to hear me. I said, God, won't you command for these drugs to be broken in this service this morning? If I ever heard God, I heard him say it. I don't have to command it, but I give you the power to command it. As he begins to tell us in the book of Matthew chapter 18 and 18, he said, whatsoever you bind on what I bind on earth, what you bind on earth, I'll bind it in heaven. He said, you get in that church this morning and you bind that addiction and you bind that spirit and you bind that spirit of failure and you bind that spirit of insecurity and you bind it in the name of Jesus and you set people free you set them free you set them free you begin to call their name you begin to cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ we are waiting on the preacher we waiting on the government church if we be the church and we have power and we shout and we dance we got it all we got got the power if we got the power this morning it's time to use the power it's time to break addictions it's time to set people free when we look around we praying for folks but we don't believe it's going to happen come up here brother Mike we pray for them but we don't love them it's easy to pray for him today and go our way but he needs a phone call tomorrow you know I'm not all hopped on all these programs that, that said to help you get off of stuff but there is one thing the programs has got and that's you have people that are you're accountable to those people that you're connected to those people what this church needs 
if this church is going to be a church of deliverance, if this church is going to be a church of revival, we have to get a hold of somebody that is hurting. Oh, God, help us this morning. Help this church this morning, God. We have to get a hold of somebody that is broken and pick them up. Well, well Pastor, they met, keep messing up. How many times did you mess up? Your mama kept picking you up. How many times did you lie to your mama and your dad and your mama and your daddy still love you? You need to love on God and love on the people the way that God loved on you. So Ham committed the first family curse because of wine. It was passed down. Then he said to Solomon Gamar, she began to go in. And then the third story, if we can find David. David looks over next door. Woo! She looking fine. Send somebody next door and get my and get her over here. I'm the king. Sent the son, husband, out to battle. Sent him out to battle. He played around with sin next door. And let me tell you. Playing around with sin, sin is still sin. Sin is still fire, and fire will still burn you. You can, you can have a snake. Picking the snake up don't always bite you. It's when you put it down. First lady last night says, Pastor God, just give me a word. You got to say it. She thought I forgot it. Good husbands don't forget stuff. She said the serpent... Don't mind you holding that snake, holding drugs. The devil don't mind you doing that. It's when you go to put it down. When you say, I'm going to quit it, bite me, bite you, stings you, an adder. Just like Solomon talked about it, begin to be an adder. And we understand that, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, we understand that Lot's daughters got, and then we can find that he looked at David, looked at Uriah, says, go out, Chunder. And he said, I'm bringing him back. And the Bible said he set him down and got him drunk. <laughs> oh, no go lay with your wife. The old drunk had much more wisdom than David did. He said, how can I go into my house, lay with my wife, and my friends are out there. I ain't going to do it and lay outside. So what one sin led to death. The wages of sin is death. So when we look around at alcohol abuse and 11% of America, you know, you know, they have, have the, uh, you know, they're drinking, uh, you, know, you know, that's considered out of control every single year. They're 41% says they binge drink at least once a year. And 15% said they are considered heavy drinkers. And 22 million Americans drink that is above the age of 12 years old. And many more begin to say, I I've done drugs and, and I've done cocaine and I've done all this. And you say, Pastor, how can we stop it? There's only one thing that can stop it, church, and that's the blood of Jesus Christ. We can stand here and say, let's put them in another treatment program. I thank God for our government. Every time we get another prison, the first thing he begins to say, we need to spend more money on drugs, addictions. We need to spend more money. Why? They know that it is destroyed. How many people do you know the drugs? You know personally that cause drugs to cause them to lose their job, lose their mind, lose their family. Men and women both. You know what I'm talking about, son. Men and women both. Little mothers to come to me and say, Pastor, Good people, good people. I shouldn't have done drugs and now I've lost my baby. The DCF took my baby away and I don't even know where my baby away. I wish I'd never done drugs. I'm talking to you this morning. I'm talking to you this morning. You said, Pastor, you're trying to scare me. If I could scare you straight, I would scare you straight. If I could scare you straight, I would scare you straight. I'm not trying to scare you this morning. I'm trying to love you this morning. I'm trying to tell you Jesus loves you this morning. And there's only one remedy that you can have. Can I tell you when we pray for you this morning, uh, oh, everything's going to be all fine. Oh, no. As First Lady said, uh, when you try to put the snake down, it's going to bite you. But 
But you tell the devil, I'm not going to quit if I have to shake all the way, if I have to foam all the way, if I have to call the preacher and I have them to call me. Hello, some in this building this morning called me and said, Pastor, I'm trying to get off and I'm having withdrawals and I can't breathe. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm not a doctor. I just pray for them is all I know what to do. I just speak the name of Jesus is what I do because there's power in the name Jesus. Your pastor, I really won't help. I'm, gonna find, I'm about to find out if you won't help. I really won't deliver it. I'm about to find out. I know my little sister's a nurse. Chance Hospital. She sees drug addiction unreal. People around, around the church that, you know, that sees firsthand drug addictions. Well, Pastor, I, I, I'm going to quit one of these days. Can I tell you, when I got up this morning, today was one of those. Today is one of those days. Today is one of those days. You put off tomorrow, and you done told the devil one of these days I'm going to quit. You may not never have a chance to quit and get it right. You done told the devil one of these days I'm going to lay it down. You may never have another day to lay it down. Today is the day of salvation. Today is that, well, Pastor, you're preaching the heart. I'm preaching it because I love you. Well, Pastor, I don't want anybody else to know that I, they already know. I, I don't want anybody to hear they already heard. Your actions already show them who you are. Your ways already show them. Either you do twice, you do different things, you get real quiet and you don't talk. You're in a shell. The devil's eating away at your brain and your mind and your soul. That or you get so loud now. I'm going to whip everybody in this here. I'm going to do everything. Y'all been around them. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know. You may fall in the middle in between those. But the thing that I want you to fall into, Pastor, I'm addicted. I still want you to be addicted when you leave this morning. But I want you to be addicted to Jesus Christ when you leave this morning. I want you to say I can't live without him. I can't make it without him. I want you to break every chain in this building this morning. I want you to break every issue that's in your life today. That whenever you begin to look around and you can say, God, I need you. With every head bowed and every eye closed right now, I need to ask the question. I need to ask the point of life and death question. I need to ask the life and death question right now. I need to ask the life and death question right now, son. I want you to help me pray, son. I need to ask the life and death question right now. Right now, I need to ask this question. I need to ask the question that is so important. I need to ask this question. You say, Pastor, I'm struggling with a little something in my life. And just lift that hand up. I want to pray for you. I see that hand. I see that hand. Come on, come on. Be honest. Be honest. You ain't, it ain't time to be, it ain't time to be cute. It's time to be a good father, a good mother, a good friend. It's time for you to say, hey, I'm struggling with a little something. And I, I because we all struggle with a little something, but this morning uh, we're going to get freedom. If you uh, hallelujah, I want everybody to stand. I want everybody to stand. Not only those that wave your hand. I want everybody to stand. I want everybody to stand. You say, Pastor, this morning I, I was one of those who oh, I was one of those who, who raised my hand and I'm going to add a little something else to it. If you've got some family members that are struggling, hello. I'm not going to leave out your family members because they would not come with you. If you got some family members. So when you see people walk down here, don't think they're walking down here only for themselves. They have family members they're walking for. They have loved ones they walk for. They're walking for that granddaughter and that grandson that's running the streets, that's getting drugs. The drugs could kill them. They're not only walking up here because of themselves, but they're walking up here because they want to see their family safe. If you raise your hand and you or you have a loved one, I want you to get down here because I want to see freedom in your house. Come on, come on. I'm waiting on you to come. waiting on you to come come on saints of God and prayer warriors I need prayer warriors to come and help me oh yes 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 come on church I'm waiting on I'm waiting on you to come come on let's come all the way across the front let's scatter out across the front come on church we're getting ready to break some things we're getting ready to break some things we're about to tell drugs and alcohol. Come on, church, be honest. 
Now, don't you be so judgmental. You look at everybody up here. Not everybody up here is dealing with drugs, but they got somebody that is. They got somebody that is. They got somebody that is. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. I need some prayer warriors. I'm waiting on some more to come. I'm waiting on some more to come. Come on, we're getting ready to have a deliver service this morning. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. I speak the name Jesus. Jesus, you told me earlier this morning. Jesus, you told me earlier this morning. Whatsoever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Lord, whatsoever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever I bind, come on, Saint, your prayer warriors. Come on, prayer warriors, I need you up here. Come on, prayer warriors, Brother Day coming. Your brother Doug come and help us. Come on, prayer warriors. I need somebody that ain't afraid. I need somebody. Come on, Brother Mike. God brought you out, son. Oh, Holy One. Power. Come on, I'm waiting on some of you to pray. See, I, I see tears running down your face. You're desperate. Your family is desperate. Your family is desperate. Oh, Holy One. Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Power. Come on, church. I'm waiting on you to pray. Oh, yes, Jesus. Come on, church. I'm waiting on you to pray. 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 Oh, Holy One. Holy One. Come on, church. Come on, church. I'm waiting on you to pray. Come on, church. I'm waiting on you to pray. I'm telling you now, I can't do it by myself. I need you to stand in agreement with me. I'm not going to pray until you get to it. I'm not going to pray until you get it. Come on. Come on, church. I need somebody speaking in that heavenly language. I need somebody breaking every. I need somebody breaking chains. Oh, Please no one leave. Please no one leave. Oh, come on, saints of God. Help me. Help me pray. Help me pray. Help me pray. I'm waiting on somebody to pray. I'm waiting on somebody to pray. Come on, I'm waiting on somebody to pray. Oh, holy one. Holy one. Holy one. Holy one. Come on, church. I'm waiting on you to pray. Now, if you said in the audience, I want you to be kind of call those names out. Call those names out. Come on. Call them out. Call them out. Call them out. In the name of Jesus, we send the word. I break. I break. I break. I break. I break. I break. Come on, church. Come on. I feel the anointing up here. I feel delivering power up here. In Jesus' name. Lord, we send the word. Deliverance. 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 Deliverance in Jesus' name. Lord, we just anoint them. Deliverance in Jesus' name. 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 Oh, Holy One. Holy One. Holy One. Holy One. Holy One. Come on, church. Come on, church. I need someone to help me pray. Come on, church. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, I'm anointing them. I'm setting them aside. I'm breaking that addiction. I'm breaking that addiction. I'm breaking that addiction. Lord, we send the word. We send the word. Send the word. Lord, we break those addictions. We break those addictions. We break those addictions. Send the word and break every addiction. Send the word and break every addiction. Send the, come on, church. Come on, church. I need some prayer warriors. I need some prayer warriors. I need some prayer warriors. Cover with the blood of Jesus. Come on, church. Let's pray. 
If this is your son, your daughter, you do want everybody praying. Yes. If it's your son and daughter, you want everybody praying. Oh, Holy One. Holy One. Holy One. Holy One. I break it. Yes, son, I'm touching you right now. Because the devil will want to destroy you. The devil got traps up for you, son. I can just see it like a big old rat trap. And somebody you think your friend is not your friend. And somebody you think your friend is not your friend. There's somebody going to throw something on you, man. Somebody going to throw danger on you. You better talk to God today, son. I cover him with the blood. I cover him with the blood. I cover him with the blood. Cover him with the blood. Lord, I just speak it. Lord, I speak it. Lord, we break it. I break every chain. Lord, I break every chain. Lord, I break every chain. Yes, Lord, we send the word. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Go ahead, girl. Yes, we break every. We break it in Jesus' name. We break it in Jesus' name. We break it in Jesus' name. Lord, every single one of them. I cover them with the blood. I break it. I break it. Lord, every one of her family, all of her friends, God. Lord, Lord, we stand for Teresa's daughters. Send the word to her kids. Girls, I arrest you in the power of the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I set him free. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we just stand here. Yes, Lord. Thank you for Brother Mike, a soul winner. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We can't do it without you. We can't do it without you. We can't make it without you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I hear the chains of darkness. 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 I hear
What a yes, Lord, we are. What yes, we are. We are the set free. We are the set free of Jesus. Come on, church, let's worship God. Let's worship God. Let's worship God. Yes. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. You don't want to miss the service tonight. I will be preaching tonight. Whoa, what a day today. What a day. Let's quit. Let's keep on worshiping. Yeah. 